Amanda Ngozi Adishie Odeloa Odeloa Celebrated Nigerian award-winning author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie has become the first woman to be made a chief in her hometown after being conferred with a chieftaincy title in recognition of her contributions to the welfare and development of her hometown, Aba. <laughs> On December 30th, 2022, the multi-award winning author and public speaker was conferred a chieftaincy title by the monarch of her hometown, Aba in Anambra State, Nigeria. <laughs> The conferment took place at the 45th of Fala festival and the 80th birthday ceremony of Igwe Eze, the king of Aba. The acclaimed author received the title of Odeluwa, which means the one who writes to the world. Chimamanda's medical doctor husband, Ivara Esege, who is rarely seen by her fans, was also spotted at the event celebrating his beautiful wife. Some of Chimamanda's brothers and sisters and close family members also graced the occasion. Popular guests spotted at the coronation were Labour Party presidential candidate and former Anambra governor Peter Obi. The Obi of Onicha, Igwe Naimeka Alfred Achebe, Executive Governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, the Executive Governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, to name a few. Revealing that her late father, James Umwoye Adiche, received the title of Odell Laura, which means the one who writes for the community, on her Facebook page, she expressed that the symbolism means very much to her as she is now Odeluwa, which means the one who writes for the world. <laughs> She added, I am the first woman in my hometown to be made a chief and it makes me happy to know that more women will follow. Culture does not make people, people make culture. She continued in her Instagram post, adding that cultures thrive when they best serve and reflect the people. Ours must become a culture that celebrates achievement, whether it comes from a man or a woman. This title is the latest in a long list of awards and recognitions the globally celebrated writer has received from indigenous and international organizations. Chimamanda has received 16 honorary doctorate degrees from some of the world's best universities, including Yale University, the University of Pennsylvania, the University of Edinburgh, Duke University, Georgetown University, and John Hopkins University. Earlier in October of 2022, the Americana author became the first African woman to receive the W.E.B. Du Bois Medal, Harvard University's highest honor in the field of African and African American studies. Also, in October 2022, at the BBC New Broadcasting House in London, the half of a Yellow Sun author delivered the landmark first BBC Wraith Lecture for 2022. Hello, I'm Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and I'm delivering the first of this year's brief lectures and my lecture is on freedom of speech. I think literature deeply matters and I think literature is in peril because of social censure. Chimamanda is learning how to laugh again after losing both of her parents within a short period of time. Barely five months after she buried her father, Chimamanda Adeche lost her mother on March 1, 2021. Ever since their passing, the celebrated author would throw out the question, how does a heart break twice hasn't been the same. Seeing her smiling once again and surrounded by not only her family but the people of Aba and heavyweights in Igbo land who love, appreciate and cherish her dearly is a beautiful thing. Being celebrated while one is alive, especially as a woman, is one of the most remarkable ways of saying thank you. The celebrated author confirmed this when she wrote, 
I am so grateful to my people of Aba in Anambra State for their warmth and love, for their enthusiastic support. According to the beautiful mother of one, the highlight of the ceremony was the sight of many children on the dusty road, laughing and waving and shouting, Odeluwa. Amongst them, I hope were the little girls with their hearts full of dreams who feel encouraged to keep trying, to keep going. What do you think about Chimamanda becoming the first woman to be made a chief in her hometown? Do you agree she deserves it and more? What do you think about her saying people make culture and not the other way around? Finally, do you think other women who deserve similar chieftaincy coronation will follow after Chimamanda? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.